how to plan an implant. Once we've converted all of the information in from the CBCT to the intraoral scan, we then can plan an implant. So we're going to go to the fourth tab to the right, and it is the plan tab. And as you can see up here, it's the fourth tab here. And when we want to add an implant, we're going to move that, that perpendicular reslice to the edentulous area that we want to treat. And we can do that by moving the slide bar on the right-hand screen here and moving it to that position that we want to place an implant in. Once we have decided that we want to place the implant in that position, we'll then go over to plus implant here on the top left. And then we're going to put the shoulder of the implant first, and then we'll put the apex of the implants second. So you'll do that by left clicking the initial point for the shoulder, and then left clicking again for the second point of the apex of the implant. Then a menu will open up. So you will see here you have the manufacturer implant of the implant, the implant products within that manufacturer, surgery type, and within surgery type we can do fully guided, pilot drill guide, or if we just want to treatment plan the case without doing a surgical template, we would just put freehand in that position. And then we also have uh, a catalog of abutments that are built into the, the system as well as healing abutments. Uh, that you can select. So you're going to find those on each one of those arrows that are drop downs, as well as the tooth numbers for the, treat, the teeth that we're treating. So as you can see here, it's going to give us the narrow, regular, and wide platform, the diameter choice within each one of those platforms. So within narrow platform and a Nobel parallel, it's 3.75. If we selected RP, it would give us the 4.3 and 5.0, and then WP is 5.5. And then these are all the different lengths that are available. So after we've selected the style of implant, we then select the platform, diameter, and length. And in the bottom right, we'll click Select Product. So once we place the implant, we can manipulate the implant bodily by clicking and holding, left clicking and holding the green rectangular box here. We can change the angle of the shoulder position by clicking, left clicking and holding the red circle at the shoulder or the red circle at the apex and we can move it bodily. My suggestion would be after we place that implant, you'll see a tab up top here that opens up another tab that's the implant tab for that, that particular implant that we've placed. It'll immediately snap the reslice to that implant. So what that means is when you rotate the slide bar here, it's going to rotate 360 degrees around that implant. So then we can see how close we are to the uh, adjacent implant or adjacent tooth, and you'll see a, a yellow halo that surrounds the implant. That's a 1.5 millimeter halo on each side of the implant, and then when the halos come together at the apex, it's three millimeters to the, the uh, apical portion of the implant. Here's an example of scrolling to visualize how close we are to the adjacent root. Or if we placed an implant next to this implant, we would know how close we are to that implant. 